Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ruthie and welcome back to my channel. We are going to go into picking out our first children's book to read out of our little stitch cup. So I'm going to give it a good little shake and pick out the one we're going to read. So we are going to read Oh Saw Can You Saw. So let me grab it. I'm going to have to slightly move you. Spill my drinks. I had a drink behind you guys. But let me grab it. Oh, I think it's down here. Yep, it is. Okay, there we go. Just knocking you guys all around. Oh, I would say, oh, say, can you say? Oh. I done read that wrong the other day. Oh, say, can you say by Dr. Seuss. Oh, my brothers, oh, my sisters, these are terrible tongue twisters. Okay, let's see. Set a book reading parrot named Hooey. The word words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and backflips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finny, Finny's Diner. Finny also has some fresher fish that's fresher than much finer, but his best fish is the freshest fish, and Finny says with pride, the finest fish at Finny's is my freshest fish, French fried. So don't order the fresh or the fresher fish at Finney's if you're wise. You'll say, fetch me the finest French fried, freshest fish that Finney fries. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin. And the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blin, who comes with a handy shin pin bin. And with a thin Blin shin bone pin, Blin pins Din's shin bones right back in. Bed spreader spreads. Spread. Spread spreads on beds, bed spreader spread butters on breads, and that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading, or that bread spreader spreader's sure going to butter his bedding. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said he ate as he ate, the greener green grapes are the keener keen apes are the gobble green grape cakes they're great. Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and I see what I say, and then I just say what I see. Now let's talk about money. You should have you should leave your grocks home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they charge double the fare and your grocks must be packed and locked up in a grocks box, which costs much more than a little old fox box, so it heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all your money on boxes for grokses. And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would would I guess, so I think the single shingle sh should cost more than a simple thimble would. Eat it skipper zips. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at skipper zips clipper ship chip chop chop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. There are so many things that you really should know, and that's why I'm bothering you telling you so. You should know the first names of the fun Bundler brothers who like to pile each other on heads of the others. If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud and Skipper and Jipper and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horse and Hendricks and Hud, and then come Dinwoody and D Dinty and Dud, also Fitzsimmering and Frederick and Flood, and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart. Stuart instead, and down at the bottom is poor little Lud, but if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. We have two ducks, one blue, one black, and when our blue duck goes quack quack, our black duck quickly quacks quacks back. The quack blue quacks blue quacks make her quite a quacker, but black is a quicker quack backer. And speaking of quacks reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks. So, oh say can you say, I have cracks in my shack, I have smoke in my stack, and I think there's a snack in the sack in my back. Upon an island hard to reach, the east beast sits upon his beach. Upon the west beach sits the west beast. Each beach best thinks he's the best beast. Which beast is the best? Well, I thought at first the east was the best and the west was the worst. Then I looked again from the west to the east and I liked the beast on the east beach least. Pete Briggs pats pigs. Briggs pats pink pigs. Briggs pats big pigs. Don't ask me why. It doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig. Big pig pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his pink, big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why. I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away and his Pete Briggs pink pigs, big pigs, pig pen. 
Fritz needs Fred and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz free feeds Fred and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with Ritzy Fred food. Fritz feeds Fred with Ritzy Fritz food. And Fritz when fed has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritz. Fred's, Fred's a Fritz fed Fred. How tall a clots from a glots? Well, the glots you see, well, the glots you will notice has lots of sp black spots. The knots, the clots is quite different with lots of black dots, but the big problem is that the spots on the glots are about the same size as the dots on a clots. And so you first have to spot who the one with the dots is. Is Then it's easy to tell who the clots or the glots is. A cop is a in a cop's cap or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap or a flat jack flat fat flapjack flapper in a flat flapjack cap or if you think you don't like cops caps flapjack flappers or cupcake cooks caps maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes like kooky captain caps perhaps well when blinn comes home tired from his work pinning shins the happiest hour of old blinn's day begins mr blinn is the father of musical twins who tucking who tucking twin instruments under two chins lull their daddy to sleep with twin blin violins and oh say can you say far away in berlin a musical urchin named gretchen von schwimm has a blue footed true footed trick fingered slick fingered six fingered six string ten schwinn mandolin if you hope to wash soup off a rope, simply scrub it with a scroop. Scroop is so strong that no rope is too long. But if you should wish to wash soap off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in soapy Cooper's super soap off hoop soak suds. One year, we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas mush to, mu to munch, but I didn't think you'd care for such. We didn't like the munch mush much. Here are some great gifts to give to your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of slim Jim swim fins. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he looks likes to look at birds at night, the gift for Dwight in the middle of the right is a bright Dwight bird flight. Night, sight, light. But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet, and a walrus which whispers is an even worse pet. When a walrus lifts whispers through... Tough, rough, wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will be get blisters and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say, can you say? The storm starts when the drops start dropping. When the drops stop dropping, the storm starts stopping. That is the end of this book. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.